All right, this video is not going to be very professional or polished. There's a decision I need to make, and I need to make it quickly. Uh, I just got off the treadmill. I'm all sweaty. There's watermelon stains on my shirt, or at least I hope these are watermelon stains. But I want to make this video really fast, get it posted so people can help me make a decision. Now, I also noticed, just looking in the video screen here, that I'm not wearing a hat, so please don't stare at my receding hairline while I'm doing this video. What I'm thinking I want to do is I'm thinking I want to buy an M1A, a Springfield Armory M1A. Now, the problem is i got to come up with the money to buy the M1A. So I'm going to have to sell something. I just can't come up with $1,500 out of the blue. I'm going to have to sell $1,500 worth of guns I already have to buy the M1A. You know, I've got to come up with the money somehow, and short of selling hand jobs for two bucks a piece at the local truck stop, I really can't think of any other way to make the money, and I don't do that kind of thing anymore. So what I'm thinking of selling is this. It's my Sig Sauer 1911 with the rail. I forget the official name of this thing, but, you know, it's a Sig Sauer, so it's not really a true 1911. It's a clone. You know how I feel about 1911s. If they're not Colt, they're not real. But, you know, it's a pretty cool gun. It's got the rail, etc. It's pretty tough looking. But the problem is with selling this gun is I just found out it's out of production now. So if I wanted to replace it later, it might not be so easy. Now, it is a 5-inch 1911, and I do have this 5-inch 1911. I have a Colt 1911 in 5-inch. So it's not like it's something I don't have another one of if I can't ever replace it, but this one doesn't have the rail and this one does. So now I gotta weigh my options. I gotta decide, is it worth it to sell this to get the M1A? Because you know, I'd really like to have the M1A, but you people are looking at my receding hairline, aren't you? Told you not to do that. Making me self-conscious and everything. Be right back. There, that's better. So now what I got to decide, like I was saying, is is it worth selling this Sig Sauer to get an M1A? Those of you out there with M1As, weigh in, let me know what you think. Now I do also have the option of selling a bunch of plastic guns like my Walther PPQ here. So that's also an option. So weigh in on what you think. I know I'm going to sell a shotgun. That's why I'm going to come up with some of the money. But I either need to sell this, just this, because this with the shotgun will make enough to buy the M1A, or I have to sell a couple of plastic guns. And I've got a couple of plastic guns I could part with. But, you know, they're very utilitarian. You kind of hate to get rid of them. But that's an option too. So there you have it. Should I get the M1A? Is it worth selling guns I already have, especially selling a gun I might not be able to replace? I mean, heaven forbid I make this decision myself. That's why I have a YouTube channel, so I don't ever have to make decisions. I get to ask you people. So hurry up. Let me know what you think so that I can make this decision quickly.